Hey, Jeremy, uh, thanks for coming on. Uh, the first question I have for you is uh, kind of life after baseball. You're uh, coaching at PFA. What's it kind of like to uh, take your experience uh, with your playing time in baseball and, and uh, putting it on the younger generation now? Yeah, uh, first of all, thanks for having me. And um, to reflect on it, I, I think it comes back to I had an opportunity to play at a very high level. And in my career and in my journey, I experienced a lot of, you know, uh, triumphs and tribulations and did a lot of stuff coming up and learned a lot of stuff coming up, not only when I was younger, but also as I got through high school, college, even in the minors and majors, I was always making adjustments. And I felt like it was a great opportunity opportunity for me to give back a little bit and uh, hopefully teach some of these kids the knowledge, not only that I learned younger, but also looking back some of the stuff that I, I learned later um, that I wish I knew younger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what would, what's a coach that, or who is a coach, sorry, that helped you in the majors and now that you kind of uh, take their teachings and put it on the younger generation? Yeah, I, I think growing up, my father was a big inspiration on me. Um, you know, he was, he was kind of the catalyst be, be, behind me and my brother, but also uh Augie Garrido at Cal State Fullerton, uh, Jim Bastian at South Hills, um, you know, just great baseball background, great baseball knowledge. I think Augie kind of, you know, instilled that uh, knowledge of playing the game right, um, going out there in a professional manner, and looking back on it, you know, those are some of the uh, traits and um, through work ethic and everything else that I try to instill on, on some of the younger generation. Jeremy, you got a chance to play with your older brother, Jason. What was that kind of like? And, and uh, how was that experience for you playing with your older brother? Well, looking back on it, you know, it, um, pretty much a dream come true. We never stepped on the same field until I played against him when I uh, got called up in September in Kansas City of 98. Um, and then 99, I was still with Kansas City. And then a um, couple things came to fruition. And uh, I actually got traded over to Oakland and experienced some great memories with Jason, um, including a couple playoff appearances, fell short against the Yankees a couple times. But, you know, looking back, I think that was, uh, you know, an experience and something that we talk about to this day. Awesome, awesome. Um, what, would, what would you say is the, your favorite ballpark to play in? Well, obviously for me being a hitter, I think it was the great hitting ballparks. And I know yeah. maybe some of it will surprise you, but, you know, I really liked hitting indoors. So okay. the old Metrodome, um, the Tampa Bay Rays, I hit really well indoors. And I don't know if it was because um, the sun was always sensitive to me. And I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> that's maybe looking back is why I hit so well indoors, because I never knew whether it was day or night. And, you know, just perform very well. But a lot of the West Coast ballparks I felt were some of the better hitting ballparks. Um, for me, being a line drive hitter, you know, a guy that didn't hit the ball in the air too much. But, you know, I felt like the turf was a lot faster in some of the West Coast ballparks. I think, you know, the turf was cut a little bit shorter uh, compared to some of the Bostons and and the Finways and, and some of those, they kind of grew their grass a little thicker. Hey, Jeremy, you, you mentioned uh, playing in big, big time playoff games. Do you have a favorite, favorite baseball memory when you look back at things? You know, I, I mean, I think I enjoyed a, a, a lot of things throughout my career. Me and my brother set a couple of home run records as brothers, um, you know, uh, kind of bittersweet. Uh, when I got traded from Oakland in 2002, Um, I had eight homers in the AL and eight homers in the NL before the break. Only person in major league history to do that. So a couple things like that. I I think, you know, you look back and at the time they happen and you're appreciative of them, but you can appreciate them a lot more as, as you get older and, and kind of see, you know, that you're a part of baseball history. Awesome. Thank you. Well, you were a part of one of the most iconic um, plays in the past 20 years, uh, the Derek Jeter flip. Um, what do you remember from that play? Um, and, yeah, let's hear it. Well, I, I think the play, obviously, uh, is going to be throughout because of, first of all, who it happened with, Derek Jeter, probably 
-hmm. not only probably one of the all-time Yankee greats, but one of the greats in the game. And, Mm -hmm. you know, special players make special plays. You know, it was kind of uh, something that happened quick. And um, it is a part of history. You know, I'm not going to run from it. Um, It was a decision I made to run through. And, you know, obviously looking back, we can look back and and say I should have slid. I should have done other things. Um, But like I said, you know, things happen in this game. Things happen, whether it's big stage, little stage, uh, errors, Failures are part of the game, and so are successes. Yeah, and personally, I think you were safe. But <laughs> yeah, so same with me. I think you're safe too. <laughs> I appreciate that, guys. Yeah. Well, Jeremy, I I just want to say, you know, working at with you at PFA, um, you're just an awesome guy. I'm so thankful to have met you, um, call you a friend, and you just bring the energy every single day at the facility. I'm so thankful that you were able to come on today, and um, you know. See you next. See you tomorrow. <laughs> no, likewise, and I appreciate it. And like I said, it's enjoyable to still have baseball in in the blood and and kind of have that kind of team camaraderie, and yeah. you know, still kind of have the uh, trash talking and <laughs> yeah. the, the fun times, you know. Yeah. And and hopefully we can show the younger generation, you know, yes, it is work, and it but but it's also fun too, and it can be fun as long as we're doing it the right way. Appreciate that, Jeremy. Thank you so much for coming on, and uh, hopefully we can have you maybe back on in the future. You got it, guys. Thank you for having me.